Next question is from Nicholas Costa, 3517. How should one train and glow, grow the gluteus medius? Okay, so... Love me some side butt. That's what I was going to say. So the gluteus medius is the side butt, and from an aesthetic uh, standpoint, right, from aesthetics meaning just how good your butt looks, the side butt really is important. It gives you that round... That bubble butt. Rotund-looking butt, and you can definitely develop your glutes and neglect... The side butt, and then you end up with kind of a, a long butt. It doesn't get. It doesn't, you don't have that nice roundness to your butt. Which, by the way, is is mostly genetic, right? So the origin and insertion really dictates what someone's butt. That's why some people have this like great little bubble butt. They didn't do anything for it; it was natural. But that doesn't mean Justin that if you have a long yeah, origin insertion, that you can't create the illusion that you have a bubble butt by training it and doing things like we're talking about right now. I have personally found so there's lots of exercises like the good girl bad girl machines or doing like slight side playing or you know, walking side lunges or whatever. There's lots of exercises that target that muscle specifically. I have had the most success teaching sumo deadlifts. And having this. people push the legs out. Yes. Right? Sumo deadlifts, when you have to open up your stance and you externally rotate your feet, it turns that, that muscle on. And then you're loading the bar and you're lifting heavy weight. Mm -hmm. Nothing I have seen have, has grown butts more, more side butt than that exercise particularly, which I think is funny because right now there's a thing going around Instagram right now of like anybody who says uh, sumo deadlifts for the butt is a good exercise is ridiculous. It's oh, not. Gosh. I think that's ridiculous. I think it's not. I, in my experience of training hundreds of different people on this exercise for mm -hmm. this purpose, I have felt that's been one of the best games. I like it. Frog pumpers are good too. It's like a hip thrust, but where your knees are open and you're pushing with yeah, the Yeah, but side the problem leg. with those, it's you body weight. And you can't load them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You, yeah, and it, you, what's going to build a lot of muscles? And I feel like a lot of women do stuff like that already. So that's why like the sumo deadlift was so, I had so much success with it. So I understand that too, right? So if someone's never done a frog pump before, you've never done like tube walking. Lateral tube walking. Yeah, lateral tube walking. Those are all great exercises that target that muscle specifically, but you're not loading it. Yeah. If you want to grow that muscle, you want to load that muscle. And point. one of the Agreed. best ways to do that is sumo deadlifts. Yeah, yeah. 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 everything else is complimentary. Yeah, here's another one that I like. And Justin actually does these uh, quite often. So I know we tease him about his butt. It's maybe why. Um, <laughs> side walking but dragging a sled. Oh, yeah. yeah. So there, now, there's another great one. Now you're going laterally, but you're loading it, yeah. right? And it's this is such a great exercise. because here's So the sled is so underrated yep. uh, as a tool for building muscle. One of the things I love about the sled is you could load the shit out of it, and you're mainly focusing on the positive portion of the rep. There is no negative, right? Now, why is this a good thing? I thought the negative built muscle. Here's why. Because you're not doing the negative, you could do a lot more volume mm -hmm. with minimal damage. So you could do your normal leg workout, throw a bunch of sleg drives on there and not hammer your body like you did uh, other exercises, but you still yeah. load. I'm the not counting of the amount of, of steps I'm taking. Yes. I'm just trying to get to a place and, and, and inevitably I'm doing more reps than I would have say I had to come back, you know, into my, my, my state where I'm like doing a side lunge and like propping myself back. Like I'm just grinding my way through. Uh, so yeah, it's, it's a great exercise. Yeah, that's, that's another great exercise. It's great. And it's just, and you're, you're crossover stepping, right? You're yep. crossover stepping sideways with a loaded sled and get, strong at it like get really strong see how much you could pull for for you know for 10 feet or 15 feet and you will build uh, the side body. I also find a lot of single leg stuff is great for this oh, yeah. because that muscle is also responsible for having stabilized the hip yeah. so if you're doing a lot of single leg exercises single leg deadlift lunges uh, Bulgarian split squats like if you do a lot of single leg work the glute med gets worked a lot too because it's helped stabilizing the hip in that position